All right. I uh, already booted the CD. This is this video is going to cover how to resize your existing Windows installation to install um, Linux next to it without losing your Windows installation or having to reinstall it. Um, I I am using G ported right now. It's booting the live CD and I already skipped past the intro screen uh, where you choose the first option to boot. I waited till it got a, uh, most of the way through the boot process because I'm sure you guys got better things to do than sit there and wait six minutes for G ported just to boot. Uh, and watch a video with your thumb up your ass doing nothing for six minutes. So anyway, at the first screen, it'll ask you what you want to do. Unless you know what you're doing and you have a reason not to hit the first option, just hit enter on the first option. G part, it'll start booting. It takes a long time, um, but it looks a little bit like this when it boots. It's going to take even longer for me because I'm running all this off a virtual machine. Um, so then, now then, uh, if you are not resizing Windows to keep uh, Windows so you can dual boot Linux, you don't even need to watch this video. You can skip on to another video. This is only for those of you who are resizing Windows to install Linux next to it so as to have a dual boot installation. All we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how to use Gported to resize Windows Partition. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Windows uh, utilities, there's one called Partition Magic. Gported is like Partition Magic, except way better. Uh, Partition Magic cannot work with Linux file systems. It can recognize them, but that's about it. And it has to be installed on Windows for it to work at all, and it can only work for Windows. Well, Gported is independent of an operating system. Hit enter on all these options unless you have a reason to not to hit enter and you know what you're doing. Which, it just asks you the default keyboard layout, language, and uh, and display configuration, which is default, default, default. <laughs> and anyway, like I said, if, if you need another language or another keyboard configuration, then read the instructions. They're kind of self-explanatory. Except for the start X. Um, or the uh, force video instruction that's kind of confusing uh, if you have no clue what you're doing um but if this doesn't if this boots up for you by hitting enter that's all you need to worry about if not um you'll be taken back to the command line that you just seen and you can enter the force video command and then tell it what video mode to use uh for uh video compatibility mode to use and it'll display it at that mode but otherwise default just auto configures it anyway uh, lost track of what I'm saying I uh, I'm half asleep so it's easy to do right now all right any day now here we go live CDs take a long time to, to load that's why I hate working with Nopix or G party All right, there's our Windows partition. We're going to take, select it. It is selected. We're going to click on resize. And we're just going to pick an arbitrary number of 4 gigabytes. That's 4,000 megabytes. Enter. And to be honest, it is uh, actually, what is it, 4096, to be perfectly correct. That's exactly 4 gigabytes. All right, and then we're going to move it down and click resize move now it doesn't do shit it looks like it did but it didn't click apply that's where all the work gets done at click apply again and wait this depending on how much data G ported has to move because it just moved your whole, entire windows partition over and resized it and uh, now it's but it's got to move all the data in it you know your windows installation your personal files things like that if you have so many files that you can't actually shrink the size of the partition then you're going to be kind of screwed you're going to have to either uh, get rid of some of your files or get another hard drive to install Linux um, but this assumes that you ha you already have a good idea what you're doing you've got enough room and you know what you need to do this just shows you how to do it and anyway all right, so this shouldn't take long because this is a fake hard drive. It's a virtual hard drive. It's empty. I don't even have anything on them yet. Haven't installed anything yet. And um, 
I only made it 10 gigabytes because I only got so much file system space. I've got uh, almost a terabyte of file system space, but it's full of other projects and things like that that I work on. So I made all my little virtualized hard drives 10 gigabytes apiece. So if yours is bigger, then just apply this to the same thing. I, I know that if you have a Windows installation with a lot of programs, I have never seen one take more than 8 gigabytes. The rest is all personal files. That's just Windows and the programs like, and I used big programs back when I used Windows like uh, um, Flash MX or Flash Studio. Uh, wow, you know what? I cannot remember. It's been a while. But I had a lot of big authoring programs installed. Pirated, of course. I could give a fuck less who knows that. But um, And even then, my Windows installation with the program files were only about 8 gigabytes at the biggest. Anything beyond that was my own personal files.